Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel, Call Me Biz. Carson celebrates Rodney Dangerfield's 51st birthday, 1972. Happy belated, man. Shout out to my guy, Rodney, man. Happy belated, I'm mad late, but still, I said it, all right? He gets no respect. Yo, I love, I love, um, the, the combination of Carson and, and Rodney together, but I know I haven't been doing a lot, even though they get mad views, I haven't been doing a lot of that because they do copyright everything. Like, they'll let it slide for like a week and then they come back, they copyright and everything. So, another thing too, guys, if you see how I blur out the video, that means the video have been copyrighted. I, I try not to do that a lot, um, but, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. Believe it or not, once you get a lot of copyrights, YouTube is literally going to throw your, your channel in the dumpster. Like, they're gonna shadow ban you like they shadow ban my, my first channel. <laughs> Yo, I get mad features on this channel, like memberships and, and, you know, brand connect. A lot of things I don't even have on my main channel. My main channel, like, the 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 back end looks so different, so I'm trying to keep this channel safe, guys. So bear with me if, if you see anything blurred out, all right? But we're going to get into it. If you enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know that you are here. Uh, if you ain't got nothing to say, just be like I was there. That's love. I appreciate that. No more ghost watching. Let's get it. <laughs> What a crowd, what a crowd, you kidding? <laughs> now I tell you, I come over here, you people, you help me forget what I went through this afternoon, you know? <laughs> what Find you went through? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, really this afternoon, I'll tell you what happened, I went to join a health club, you know? And a sign said, look better in 10 days or your money back. I gave the girl my check. She said, keep it, we're gonna mail it back anyway. <laughs> Uh, no I tell you, I try to be a right guy. I never get a fair shake, you know? I was gonna take a little vacation. I suppose some guy works in a travel agency. He told me I could spend six nights in Puerto Rico. No days, just six nights in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I said to him, well, I do myself days. He says, you can do whatever you want. Just keep out of Puerto Rico. <laughs> we don't want to see your face. <laughs> I tell you, I don't get no respect from anyone, you know? No respect at all. But one time I was drowning. I was yelling, help, help. And the lifeguard came over and said, all right, keep it down, keep it down. <laughs> oh, that noise. I don't know, I tell you, sometimes I think back, you know, I remember things when I was a kid, it was the same way, I got no respect. One time my old man, he took me to a carnival. We went to see the freaks. The owner looked at me. He told my old man, get the kid out, he's distracting from the show. <laughs> and the trouble with me is I'm too easy go. I mean, I got a couple of kids, I'm nice to them. They got smart answers too. Last time I had a kid had a birthday, I took him to Coney Island, you know? I asked him if he wanted to go to the crazy house. He told me to save my money, we'll be home soon. Wow! <laughs> Fuck the kids! <laughs> I tell you, I try to figure things out, I can't. I've been every psychiatrist in New York. My whole life is psychiatrist. But when I was a kid, eight years old, and my parents, they sent me to a child psychiatrist. I went for a year and a half. The kid didn't help me at all. <laughs> Hey, sometimes oh, I say to myself, what's okay, going on? Okay, okay. And lately, I'm so mixed up, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I noticed last week, my gums were shrinking. I went to see my dentist. He told me I'm brushing my teeth with Preparation H. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> my dentist, that's another beauty, my dentist. You kidding? It cost me $5,000. I don't new teeth put in. Now he tells me he need braces. <laughs> I tell you, I'm at the end of the line, you know? I don't know who to believe anymore. Like Dr. David Rubin, he wrote a best-selling book. Everything you always want to know about sex. David Rubin! That's the most important thing. Where to get it? <laughs> what well, happened to that?
great crowd, great, great, great crowd. crowd. Oh, one great. place you can relax over here, no kidding. You got right. communication going for you, that's the whole thing. Especially you know? tonight. Tonight, great communication. That's you are funniest. too much. I was silly, you know, silly, silly mood tonight. I was backstage at the field, breaking up with the whole thing. What the hey? What? <laughs> Give me the bird. <laughs> Remember those old burlesque sketches? Uh, yeah. There's one of the funniest lines I've heard you do in a long time. You do a lot of funny things, but about getting the new teeth and the dentist tells you you need braces. That's a <laughs> funny, funny yeah, line. I saw it right out there. Really? <laughs> Don't no. worry, but that, that's a good line. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nah, that's funny. a hilarious Tell me line. about the book, now that you're a big author. Oh, this is a very interesting book. I've spent four years of research and doing it. A year and a half in editing. Can I read the thing on the back? I didn't see that. Well, go right ahead, sure. It says, this book is ridiculous. This man is nuts. He's an idiot. He should never have written it. He deserves no respect. He ruined my life. I cook very good. He has no business to open a restaurant. My children are very healthy and happy from my cooking. In fact, as you read this, I'm trying to make arrangements to have him put away. Mrs. Dangerfield. <laughs> I didn't see that, though. <laughs> well, that's, uh, it's a very interesting book. I told you, four years of research I went into it, and a year and a half... <laughs> what was it? And a year and a half of editing. And I want to thank my dear friend who helped me editing it, too, Dr. Vinny Boombatz. He assisted me. <laughs> Dr. Vinny Boombatz! He, he assisted me in the whole thing in editing. And, uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful book, really. And ch In fact, chapters four and five are devoted completely to heartburn. I didn't go with that. <laughs> I'm Johnny, I'll tell you this book here. You can give it away to a friend, a neighbor, a relative, a girl who ran out on you, anybody. And if you hold it up to the light and twirl it around, <laughs> you'll see your sweetest mistress in the nude cooking some beef fondue. I mean, that's <laughs> By Vinny Boombox. Vinny Boombox. He did the editing of the whole thing. Very well, I... Uh, Y'all yeah, want that book? That's, that's, uh, What's the name of it? Pretty good. You expect this is in, no, really is this is in the bookstores, I suppose, in time, yeah, for, the Christmas, all book time for the Christmas market, huh? Oh, yeah, it's in it's spiced with humor. Wow. Spiced with humor there. Very respectable recipe, spiced. It's it's a hundred, very economical, very easy to make these things, you know what I mean? Very easy to do it. It's a very interesting book, and uh, it's got cartoons too, as you notice. Yes, it <laughs> has cartoons in there. Let's see what you remember now, since you wrote this book. <laughs> How do you make potato... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here's one of the easy ones. How do you make potato mounds? You go to a chef in a restaurant and pay him off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this first, and now... A what is it, a cookbook? Video of tomorrow's dinner. Uh, it's sure. a special day for you, we found out. We didn't know it, you didn't tell us. Uh, but the staff found it out. This is your birthday. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy No, no, no. Give him the cake. <laughs> there you are. Can I take this back? I've got an anniversary in my place tomorrow night. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's really very, very kind. Forget the happy birthday, Roger. Uh, <laughs> it was just that we had a good deal. That's very kind. <laughs> We did the way the show is going, is going to end up my face before the no, night no. is over. I got no. a feeling, but hey, boom, you know, you know Remember those things where he says, yeah. give me the cake. Give me the cake. Oh, wow. Give me the cake. <laughs> Don't mm. give me the cake, no. okay? Don't give me the cake. There's no place to go if we start that. No, no, if we start no. throwing this cake, then the show must end. No, no, no. Wow. <laughs> All right. Don't give me the cake. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's what I mean by communication, you know? It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't like the look of it. I don't like the look of it. You want to be nervous? No, that's not You want me to send this over I'm here? I'm not being nervous at all, John. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, no, I didn't do that. Go no, I would cake. never do that. Not with a candle in it, anyway. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's smart. That could be, <laughs> uh, 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 that could, that could be up your nose to Pittsburgh. No, I would never hit anybody with a cake unless you had prearranged on a sketch, because that is not fair. To throw a cake or do something like that to somebody. So I'll set it over here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought you was going to throw it. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I wonder what's going to happen tonight. Uh oh, here comes the cake now. <laughs> Um, uh, no. is, is it impolite to ask you how old you are, or do you care? Does it make any difference? No, I tell the truth. I tell the truth. I'm 29. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll update you. I'm 51 years old today. That's oh, true. I didn't believe that. No, I'm 51. That's yeah. true. Well, you I do know. not look it. I don't know. I'm 51. I mean, I don't... Uh, I meant that. You really don't look it. No, I can lose uh, I can lose 10 pounds and say, hey, I'm 46. But well, what the heck? I mean, tell the truth. What's the difference? You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I feel. Be truthful. That's the only way you find communication in life. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the communication kick tonight. No, it's been bothering me. Because yeah, there is no. You got to have communication, and this is one place you have it. You can relax, and that's right. the only way you can relax if people can communicate together and get along good. Well, you we're know? certainly and, doing that, and that's why, like, uh, that's important. That's what it really is. <laughs> In fact, I was uh, uh, this the other night. I was talking to one of the pa one of the patrons over at my bistro. Ah. And uh, he was engaged to this girl, and they broke up because of lack of communication. Oh. Plus the fact that he had six dogs. And she didn't like dogs. I think men love animals more than women. They really do. They so really not. do. I mean, look at all the guys who are so happy when a rabbit lives, you know? <laughs> <That's not bad. laughs> when their rabbit I mean, you know, lives. a lot of men and women, they don't relate. You take an average guy who makes love to a girl, right? Uh -huh. When they're all finished, what's the first thing that comes into his mind? How do I get out of here? <laughs> 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 So you got to have communication. That's communication. And guys, guys, you can't figure guys out either. I yeah. know a guy was going with this gorgeous, beautiful girl. Uh -huh. Left her for his wife and kids. No. <laughs> Didn't know that. How else can you relax without communication? Oh, you got to have communication. You mentioned 42nd Street. I go there occasionally. I find out sexy movies from Denmark. You right. go in there, you just relax, forget everything, take a different world. I saw one last week, too. You know, Otto, this is a little different than the sexy movie. You know, they spoke in English, but the sex was dubbed in. <laughs> That's an unusual experience. A very, very unusual experience. But well, that's yes. communication. You've oh, got to yes, communicate. It is definitely. As a matter of fact, I knew it was going to be a wild movie because when I walked in, a real sexy place, you know, a big naked blonde showed me to my seat. And I was so embarrassed, I told the guy, put on some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to look at this communication. Right yeah. after New Year's Eve, I'm going over to Hawaii. I mentioned oh, that really? the Friars Club. I went to Hawaii. Right after New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, who's working my place? No. The belly dance. We have Little Athens. Little, little Athens. Athens, belly dance, and anyone who comes to my place, don't get fresh with Little Athens. She calls her boyfriend Big Dominic. You know what that means. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dominic, Dominic be short. Sure. No, Put you right away, you know. And uh, <laughs> but I'm going to Hawaii, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to stay there at the, uh, the Sheraton Waikiki uh, Hotel. Wa That's what I say, Waikiki, you know. <laughs> no, as a, as a matter of fact, you're very big in Hawaii. You know? I didn't know that. I spoke to the uh, Italian vice consulate who goes to Hawaii, and uh, he, yes, he's the Italian vice consul from Italy, mm -hmm. and he's in Hawaii, Guido Salmaggi. I mentioned his Guido name Guido Salmaggi. Guido right. Salmaggi, and he, he signed my book too, you know? And he did. <laughs> and he's the Italian vice consul, can I, and he, can, he's watching. Can I just see in Hawaii, can I just say hello to, one second. Yeah. Hey, Guido, aloha! <laughs> <laughs> And he'll be there with his cousin Tulio. Tulio will be there. Tulio and Guido. And his nephew Romeo. <laughs> no, but I'm going to Hawaii. You're really going to Hawaii. You're going to work there. No, no, no. No, no, not going to work there. Vacation there. Vacation there. Work all the time. You know what I mean? Of course you can. Sense of work all the time. <laughs> Of working on the vacation. vacation there. You know, a lot of people go for all kinds of money for vacations. You know, oh. I'm, I'm very simple. Are oh, you? Yeah. Just give me a beach, a pair of shorts, and a t-shirt with a woman in it. He gets no reason. Now, yo, Rodney don't miss, man. He got a dope, uh, he got a dope personality. Uh, of course, the one-liners was hitting. The child psychiatrist would. At first, I'm like, what? The child didn't help me, but he literally meant... <laughs> he literally meant a child psychiatrist. Okay. okay. Touche, sir. Touche. I ain't gonna lie, man. This should have hit him with the kick. I, <laughs> the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, all right. From which side are they gonna hit him with the kick? Pause. Pause. I don't know how that's out. I'm like, yo, the cake is coming. Whoa. Pause. <laughs> Whoa. Pause again. Yeah, yo. Carson and Rodney, they 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 have such a a, a dope dope chem chemistry, kind of like um, Norman and Conan. But then, yo, I be watching Conan. Conan has a dope chemistry with almost everybody. So, uh, sh shout shout out to that. Uh, yeah, man, that, that was dope. For a minute there, I didn't think he was gonna sit down. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I haven't heard Dr. Vinny boom butts. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? But yeah, y'all let me know what's next from Rodney Dangerfield, and I got you. Uh, like I said, they're gonna be, got, I'm, I gotta spread them out uh, a little bit because I don't want too, too many copyrights on this channel. Uh, I'm working on being more consistent on this channel uh, so I can help it grow. 
I do slack a lot on here on this on this side of things, but you know, I, I, I'm working on it. Be patient with me, all right? Yo, y'all let me know what's next in the comment section below, and I got you, and I will see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be there. Peace.